Welcome back, adventurer. Here we are now going to test out the user account management system and actually give it a run. So we're going to step in here, create a new username, some secret password we're not going to disclose. Hit the sign up button. We pop straight into the settings where we get lots of wonderful warnings about peer to peer systems as not being able to do password resets because. The server doesn't ever know your password, so um, security is left up to you because a server can't act on your behalf. So first thing I'm going to do is show that we already have a password reset mechanism working in a fully peer-to-peer -peer decentralized social network. We're going to type in our old password and another password that's much longer. Saved. Looking great. I'm going to now go up and fill in the password reset mechanisms, security questions. First of all, we had to come up with a, a good process that's actually secure, but um, is still memorable. This is our current attempt. You can implement something else. Our end goal is to actually have it such that you can log back into your account based off of three other friends, three or more friends who wind up saying that yes, uh, your password should be reset. But for now, we're just doing simple security questions. With a twist, what was your first pet's name, the type of animal that they were, and your favorite quirk about them? You're supposed to form a grammatically correct sentence to make it significantly harder for somebody to guess the password. So I'm going to use the default example here, never do that or else your account will be uh, hacked quite quickly. Bubbles was a goldfish he played dead a lot. Oh, poor Bubbles. Where was your first kiss? Describe what they looked like. I kissed Alice in a tree. She was a redhead. Now, what do you want your password hint to be? Well, this is going to be a secret that you'll see in just a minute. Uh, all right, now I'm going to hit set. Sweet, saved. Of course, we want to actually test that this works. I'm going to hit sign out and refresh. So we pop back in here and we go to type in my username and ah, oh, I forget my password. What do we do? Oh no, okay. So we get to the forgot password setting. Remember, this is fully peer to peer, fully decentralized. There is no middleman server doing this for you. I got to type in my username, of course, that loads in some information about the password reset questions. Obviously, remembering an entire sentence is somewhat hard, so we have a hint. We are told that the, this answer is 45 letters, so I can try and match exactly my, uh, what was the first pet's name, what type of animal, favorite quirk about them to mitigate grammar errors. I also recommend to everybody that they always use perfectly correct grammatical sentences. I'm sure that sentence wasn't actually grammatically correct, but uh, so that way if there's ever a question or doubt about what you might have written, you can look up the rule books on how grammar works. So let's go ahead and type it in. Bubbles was a goldfish. He played dead a lot. And aha, 45 to 45 seems like it might be right. I kissed Alice in a tree. She was a redhead. All right, now let's hit that go button and see. Ah, my password hint to myself is maybe indicative that my password is not very secure. Say password three times. That gives me enough of a hint that I can come back in and say, oh, that is my password. And let's see, I log in and indeed, it takes me to the home page where I can draft some documents, write something, and then eventually post it. But overall, that is how the system works. Um, we got password reset, security questions, changing your password, and everything is fully into end encrypted. Remember, your private key is not generated from your password. It is associated with the password based off of proof of work that is done from your 
uh, your regular password. So the regular password gets entered in, and you have to do proof of work in order to derive something that then decrypts your private key. So you can change your password as much as possible. It's not going to affect uh, your, your private key. So it's still very secure. The private key is generated correctly using all the latest cryptographic standards. Um, you, we are not using the password to generate your key. We're just using it to associate with your key, your private key and unlock it. Well, hope you like this video and I'll see you in the next one.